okay in this video we are going to prove that k5 and k33 are non planar graphs okay so let's first prove k5 is non planar okay so we know k5 is a complete graph on five vertices and furthermore k5 it is a connected connected graph on five vertices and ten edges and again we proved in a previous video that in any connected plane graph or a planar graph on n vertices and m edges m is less than or equal to 3n minus 6 so we know from a previous video that in any connected plane graph or planar graph on n vertices and m edges okay we have an upper bound on the number of edges if the graph is a connected plane graph okay so m is less than or equal to 3n minus 6 so if you want to see the proof of the, uh, this statement then go and watch the previous video okay so in the we know that in any connected plane graph on n vertices and m edges m is less than or equal to 3n minus 6 so we are going to use uh, this property of a planar graph to show that k5 is uh, not planar okay so here we can see that so in this particular graph hence okay so let's find 3n minus 6 for k k5 so that is going to be equal to n is the number of vertices so 3 times 5 minus 6 okay 15 minus 6 is 9 so that is equal to 9 okay and that says uh, if okay, this k5 is a planar graph then it must satisfy this condition okay so we have uh, okay we obtain 9 here and we can see that number of edges in uh, k5 is 10 and in any connected planar graph we have this relation okay m is less than or equal to 3n minus 6 and we got 3n minus 6 is 9 okay and here okay, we know that okay this is not possible okay 10 is not less than or equal to 9 okay so that says the inequality is not satisfied okay so the inequality m less than or equal to 3n minus 6 okay is not satisfied okay so hence k5 is not a planar graph so that's the proof and here we use this particular statement in any connected plane graph on n vertices and m edges where n is greater than or equal to 3 then it must satisfy this condition m is less than or equal to 3 and minus 6 so if you look at, at this particular graph k5 it has 5 vertices and 10 edges so 3 and minus 6 is 9 okay so here we can see that 10 is uh, not less than or equal to 9 so this inequality is not satisfied hence k5 is not a planar graph okay so so okay, let's prove k33 is not planar okay complete bipartite graph uh, in which each partition contains three vertices okay is non planar so here also we are going to use uh, a statement similar to this thing that we proved in a previous video but here this particular graph it has more structure than k5 and we are going to exploit on that particular thing
okay so we know that this k 3 3 is a complete okay k 3 3 is a complete bipartite graph on six vertices six vertices and nine edges okay so k okay, three three will look something like this we have three vertices on one part eight partition and three on the other and we have these edges Okay, so it has okay, six vertices and nine edges, three times three. And also we know that, okay, in a previous video we proved that a bipartite graph, it does not have any odd cycle, okay. In a bipartite graph, Okay, there is no odd cycles. Okay, so that says this K three three it has no triangles. Okay, triangles are K three K three is or C3 if you want, okay. It, okay, it has no st structure which looks something like that because this has an odd cycle, okay, this is an odd cycle, which means G is a bipartite graph, okay, K33 is a bipartite graph, okay, there is no odd cycle and that says K33 has no triangles, okay, so K33 has no triangles. So, we are going to use a statement that we proved in the previous video. So, if G is a plane graph on n vertices and m edges okay, with no triangles. Okay, this M is upper bounded by uh, 2n minus 4. Okay, so we proved this statement in a previous video. Okay, so for the proof, you can look uh, that video. So that says if G is a plane graph on n pairs are equal to 3 vertices and M edges with no triangles, so we have this additional constraint here. Okay, so without that constraint, the number of edges is upper bounded by this inequality m is less than or equal to 3 and minus 6. So, if we have <coughs> this particular constraint with no triangle, then m is less than or equal to 2 and minus 4. Okay, so, we are going to use uh, this inequality to prove that k 3 3 is not planar. Okay, it is a connected graph uh, and again we can see that since it is a bipartite graph, there is no odd cycle. So, k 3 3 has no triangles. Okay. So, here we can see that, so let us consider uh, this portion 2 n minus 4, okay. and here we have k 3 3 it has 6 vertices, so it is like uh, 2 times 6 minus 4 which is equal to 8. Okay, And here we can see that uh, k 3 3 has 9 edges, so it must satisfy this thing 9 less than or equal to this quantity. So, here we have this situation. Okay. Therefore, we have this thing 9 less than or equal to 8. Okay. And that implies okay, this inequality is not satisfied. M uh, not less than or equal to 2n minus 4. Okay. So, we have a contradiction and that says uh, K33 is not a planar graph. Okay. So, hence K three three is not a planar graph. Okay, so 
this K5 and K33 are, are two graphs that are very important important in proving that a particular graph is a not planar graph. Okay, and that says so this is the proof for okay those two statements. Okay, so we proved that K55 and K33 are non-planar graphs. Okay, so here we use this statement. Okay, and uh, here we used this statement to prove that K33 and K55, uh, sorry, K33 and K5 are non-planar. Okay, and again we can see that okay if this K5 or K33 is a subgraph. So it appears. Suppose that K33 and K5 appear as a subgraph of any graph G. Okay, then we can very easily see that okay, G is not a planar graph. Okay, so in every planar graph, okay, these subgraphs are uh, forbidden from. Uh, being okay, three subgraphs are forbidden as, as a subgraph in that particular graph. So, if K55 or K33 subgraph of any graph G, then definitely we can see that J is not a planar graph. For example, suppose that we have a graph which looks something like this. So, we have this K5, so okay. So this is our K5 and suppose that we add say some more vertices to this graph. Okay, suppose that this graph looks something like this. Okay, so in this case we can see that it has K55 as a subgraph. Okay, and suppose that this graph is a planar graph. Okay, if this graph is a planar graph, then uh, we have a planar embedding or planar drawing on of this particular graph. So we can draw Okay, so if assuming that this particular graph is a planar graph, then there is a planar drawing. So we can draw this on a plane in such a way that they just don't cross each other. Okay, so take that planar uh, drawing, then after that delete all these edges. Okay, all these extra edges and these vertices. Okay, then the resultant graph will be a plane drawing of K5. Okay, so we already proved that K5 is non-planar okay and that says okay this particular graph okay this graph is also not planar okay it is also a non-planar graph. So idea is something like this if we have a K5, a K5 or K33 as a subgraph of any, sub, of any graph G and if that graph is planar then we can take the planar drawing and we can delete that, those extra edges and vertices okay so after deleting those extra so in this case if uh, if it this was a planar drawing then take that planar drawing and delete all these edges and these vertices okay so we are left with this particular graph right and uh, that particular uh, that drawing after that pla uh, plane graph obtained after deleting all these extra edges and vertices will correspond to a planar drawing of K5. So, we know that it is not possible. So, that says this graph is also, also non planar. So, that says if K5 or K33 is a subgraph, if uh, okay, these two graphs appear as a subgraph of any graph G, then the graph is not planar. So, in a later video, we will prove a characterization for a planar graph uh, called uh, Kuratowski's theorem. So, okay. Uh, that says okay, these two graphs are somewhat important. Okay. Okay. So, okay. In the next video, we will prove another statement. Then after that, we will prove the characterization of uh, planar graphs.